What's going on my friends? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder battle. It was supposed to be KCM day today, but sadly uh, something went on. I'm not really sure what happened. It got delayed until tomorrow, but every problem is just another opportunity, isn't it? Another opportunity to cast more flash games has come our way. And so we're just going to go ahead and do that. We've got flash here in the top center. His opponent is Royal and I had a pretty rough day on stream today. Pretty tough ladder day. As you guys probably know, I am doing uh, 10 games a day challenge to get to A. And we slipped all the way down to C rank today. Yeah, it does suck, but uh, I'm not really sure how that's going so far. The jury's out on that challenge. We're not really sure how that uh, <laughs> how that's going to turn out. But for reference, I've been like 1900 for more than a month. I climbed my way out of C rank in the past, like, I don't know, just a few games every now and then uh, over the past half a year or so. We got to like 1900. A peak rank has been about 2000. Um, but yeah, we slipped all the way down to C today. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to cast as many Flash TVT games as we can handle today. And I'll just put them all into one big video. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Uh, I've got a couple of games here versus Royal and Roll. Just going to open with a CC first. And this is played today. So, just within the last couple of hours. So, um, he definitely knows that this is Flash. He is under no illusions at this point. Pretty much everybody on the ladder knows that this is Flash, and Royal's going to be pulling it out here. His CC first build, which kind of Flash did pioneer. It's a little bit funny to see Royal playing out here, but Royal is a beast, man. Royal is crazy, crazy good, and he's been super active uh, for the longest time here. It would be crazy to see Flash take him down, but this is the best matchup for Flash. This is the matchup that people are the most scared of him in. He is crazy, crazy good at TVT. Then that's with most players who have a really deep understanding of the game. Their mirror matchup is where they shine the most because they really understand so, so well uh, the limitations of their race and what they can get away with. And what their opponent can get away with. And how to punish uh, any individual build. So here he's just going to go ahead and get his CC a little bit later. No big deal though. Uh, he will have the faster factory of course. Not by a whole lot. So he is in a bit of a deficit here. As you can see 3 SCV advantage already for Royal. But it is what it is. He uh, cho chooses rather than to try and... Put on a bunch of pressure or do something wacky and wild uh, to punish this first uh, CC first. It's probably better uh, a better idea here just to play a very normal, modest game. Try to come back uh, with just good decision making from a small deficit, which is going to be less and less as time goes on, right? It's only a two SCV de deficit. That's less than 10% uh, of the economy. It's like maybe a four or five percent um, uh, deficit here in that economy. And it's getting smaller and smaller as time goes on. So with just some good moves here, he may be able to just easily bring this back. Four facts are coming down here for Royal. Going right up to four facts for himself as well. So big vulture war is incoming here wonder how this is going to turn out. SCV trying to slide in. Get that full scout. Looks like it will get taken out. First Vulture is out now. Here for Royal. And the worker count has completely evened up. Even, look at that. Ahead in supply right now as well is Flash. So Flash just doing his thing right now. And he's putting everything together here to where he's actually going to be coming out ahead here pretty soon. All well, the factories are done a little bit sooner for Royal, but 
just the smoothness of his macro flash's macro is allowing him to uh, start to take the, the advantage away and he's actually got a tank whereas roll doesn't have a tank so that could be a big uh, decision maker here uh, in some sort of fight if they want to take a fight here early on if he tries to run up this ramp for instance and uh, the tank is going to make a lot of difference with that DPS. Here comes Flash pushing over here towards the high ground. About five vultures here on high ground. Some uh, of Flash's vultures are going to come around. He wants to tank damage with the tank. No pun intended. He's bringing up the marines as well. And this fight is going to really decide the pacing of the game from here. Everything has been so even thus far. But if he takes a bad engagement going up this ramp and it looks like... You know, Royal is doing a great job here targeting only onto Vultures, not spreading too much damage onto those tanks. Uh, the miss chance here from Flash is hurting him so badly. Now can start to target down the tank. Oh, no, he's just going to keep targeting down Vultures here. That tank is very low, though, and overwhelming right now. Flash is going to have to retreat. He will lose the tank in the end. Vultures rallying out here are going to meet overwhelming numbers. So this has gone very very bad for flash he was absolutely even uh with the, an advantage uh a little bit and now he's totally losing this game he's gonna start to lose a bunch of scvs here he has to fight with them he has to pull them um to try and take this fight a little bit more effectively than his opponent but this is dropping him behind by quite a significant margin here 10 SCV lead now for Royal and he's going to have mines. He's going to start to lay them out in front uh, of the uh, enemy base here. Just start to contain. And if you get tanks on top of your opponent's high ground here on Apocalypse, it is really, really bad. It is really, really scary. So I guess Flash is kind of underestimating uh, Royal there and the inefficiency of mischance. Uh, turns that fight, that first fight, into a really bad trade. Now he's coming out here with a lot more vultures. It's like both of them still ramping up here in the overall vulture war, but uh, Royal is going to make that transition now with two machine shops. Hold on. That extra machine shop ad means that there's a lot more vultures here for Flash, but pulling the SCVs and having the Wraith here, I don't think that vault the... Vultures here are just going to take the day for Flash. He's got to start targeting down SCVs, I feel. We really do need to start killing a few of these SCVs. He's going to get a mine in the front. Can he get a connection on that? No. A lot of SCVs going down right now. Dropping to just 40. Uh, really evening out that deficit. Just rallies and rallies and rallies coming forward here. More mines are going to get laid down. If one of these mines connects, it is going to completely change this game. But so far, none of them have connected. And the scan does come out. So looking at the overall score here at the end of that, 38 to 40. Uh, however, we don't have those machine shops just yet. And there is an opportunity here for Royal to start to push across the map. He's also going to start to harass with those raids. And we don't have Goliaths out just yet. So he's going to be making, Flash is going to be making Goliaths right now. And running around with these vultures laying down a lot of mines. Evening out the SCV count quite substantially here now. By just picking off a few, he's going to bring it to 41 to 42. And I think that's all he's going to end up getting. One more SCV does go down. But this is a very close game, guys. A great game here between these two thus far. Uh, swinging back and forth either way. And... Royal's just going to go ahead and snag a third immediately. He's got the air domination. He's lagging behind one factory. So that's the real kicker here for why Flash uh, ended up getting the vulture advantage in the end of that. The starport there from Royal. An extra factory from Flash. Means he had the macro edge on the ground, but just didn't have the extra tech available that uh, is here for Royal and Flash could have come across to potentially take the high ground now can he hold the high ground of his opponent it is as I said an incredibly strong position to take 
He's not right at the edge of the high ground, unfortunately. Oh, a drop into the main. This could deal a lot of damage. Flash reacting pretty well here. Bringing up the tanks. One unseaged, one siege. Gonna kill that off pretty quickly, but he lost a good chunk of SCVs. Now 12, 13 workers behind his opponent. The positional advantage heavily in Flash's favor, though. This is a really good spot to be. Uh, set, uh, I, I mean, there is that the third base, which is going to come up here now for Royal. And he's tra uh, sending his SCVs over. So I think Royal's still going to feel pretty comfortable here. As long as Flash doesn't have his own third base and, you know, a fourth and stuff like that. But honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because the positional advantage is so much more important uh, in this game in particular or in this uh, matchup in particular in TVT it is crazy crazy crucial and he's starting to push forward here once again uh oh flash is gonna get um, pretty frisky here with the tank line moving right up to the front but can he actually protect it right here? Ooh, a mine is going to connect, it looks like. One more shot. Oh, 3 HP on that. That is unfortunate. I thought we were going to have another drop, but... Um, oh, there it is. It's heading around the bottom side. Flash still pushing in here. Holding the high ground along this ridge is insanely powerful. He's got two Goliaths here, so there's no shenanigans that can be done uh, by Royal. Uh, with the uh, Wraith play or anything like that. Vultures get dropped over here. He's shutting down the third base of Flash right now, but Flash is not interested in taking that. He is just pumping out units like crazy and trying to get in here for a kill right now. He will get the Wraith, and he's killed a lot of these tanks just slowly but surely pushing all of this down. He's done a really good job of it. He's going to unseage one more time as more reinforcements arrive. Another siege up comes through. Targeting on the tanks is good. Ooh, a lot of tanks just exploded there. And I think this might have actually broken Flash's push. He lost way too much right there. He's extra tanks down here on the low ground. Flash is going to have to give up this area, I think. He's going to keep trying this. But... I don't know if he has what it takes at this point to break through. Oh, this is a good spot right here. Able to hit these tanks on low ground, bringing vultures up to try and throw down some mines on top of this. Goliaths are coming up to uh, deal with the mines and vultures here. As long as he stays targeted on these tanks, he should be able to get that. No, not able to get that. We don't have anything out on the map right now for Royal. It's all down to this push. If Flash can break it, He's probably going to win this game with the superior position, but if Royal just holds on a little bit longer, all of his factories are going to kick in. You see he added three more factories here, whereas Flash is just still sitting on the same number. Eventually, Royal will overcome this position, adding more tanks here to the top side. I think this is the only real breakable location for Flash. He just gets the scan off. He will be able to target onto one tank, but he loses one of his own. Now coming forward with the Vultures. Can he break this position? He's going to try and wedge his way over to this side. Great mine there. Really great mine there to pick that off. And he's getting closer. These tanks are missing. Firing up onto high ground here. Vultures are getting on top of this base. This is really close right now, guys. Uh, this rests on a knife's edge here. Tanks being dropped behind the mineral patches. To start to pick off some of these Goliaths, will he make a... Uh, oh, 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 this mine is going to go off. That mine goes off 100%. Ooh, another mine? No, doesn't have it. SCVs are going to be pulled to try and fight the tanks here, trying to drag some of the uh, splash damage onto them. Looks like he will be successful in doing so. A lot of the tanks end up getting picked off. Got a target onto these tanks right now. Pick them off before... Uh, all the advancing tanks go down. What? That mine. Holy crap. A mine goes off there. An angel mine here from Royal. The winds have changed. And Royal is going to save this base. Another base starts here for Flash. But 
Ah, uh, his push has been broken. And there's still way more workers on the field here for Royal. Now I'm going to set up once again. Flash here on that high ground. Still a nice position. But we've got three dropships. If a bunch of tanks come and land up here in the main, it's going to hurt this push so badly. Because you just won't be able to reinforce any longer. Vulture's going to come running up here. Oh, a uh, uh, Valkyrie as well. Such a good move. Another great mine connection there. Excellent play by Royal. He hangs on just long enough and GG is called. Flash taps out. What an interesting gambit here by Flash to just try over and over again to break in here. Royal just a little bit too strong. Dude, those, I swear to God, those two tanks back here pretty much saved the day. We were losing every single SCV at this base. And they would have continued to die had those two tanks not landed and killed the vultures and goliaths there. Those vultures and goliaths would have ravaged this. But because he dropped those tanks and he killed those vultures and goliaths, the SCVs were able to help break the tank line. What a nutty game. We're just jumping straight into game number two here. Okay, game number two. Royal kicking butt in that last game. But it was close. And his opponent, Flash, here down in the bottom right-hand corner. I like these colors. Just random, of course, but we've gotten a couple of nice colors. It's so often that I get brown. My opponent is brown on the ladder. It's so annoying, honestly. Of course, you can just shift tab, but I like to see, you know, some some other colors, you know? I want to wanna get an orange. I want to get a teal. Why is it always brown? It's so... Yeah. Frustrating. Oh well. Here we are in this next TVT. I hope you guys don't mind my uh, TVT casting too much. If you guys want to see more Flash games, even TVT. He's actually played a lot of TVT lately. So if you like this series uh, and the TVT I'm going to cast today, just let me know down in the comments. Hit, hit the like button as well, of course. Helps get the word out there to other people uh, that we're doing this and that Brood War is still alive and strong, and I will be sure to cast more Flash games for you. More TVT coming your way very, very soon. Hopefully, we get some versus Zerg as well, because that's my favorite matchup to watch. But if it's Flash playing TVT, I don't mind too much. Here we go. A barracks out in the front this time. No CC first in this second game. By the way, these were played back to back on the ladder. These two games. And within just a few hours, I managed to pick them up. So I'll even go back uh, here after this cast and just check and make sure that they didn't play any more games because I'm pretty sure they just got two. Uh, he played a bunch of games versus Rush, so that's what I was going to go to next. But I will check and make sure that they didn't play another game in the last hour. It's still kind of uh, early afternoon here in Japan, which is similar time here in Korea so they could certainly still be active at this time of day I don't think there's anything really big happening right now uh, in Korea in Starcraft I can't be too sure oh wait a second I was thinking of like a, a tournament or something like that that might be going on that would be a reason for either of these players not to be on the ladder but I can't think of anything at the moment Flash going for a CC before gas. Gas is CC here. It's going to make some Marines and likely get a bunker to deal with this vulture that's going to be popping out here soon. Just one SCV on the gas for. I keep wanting to say last. This is Royal. And now going to spot here. The CC first, or not CC first, gas the CC. He sees the CC and backs away. And we have an opportunity to, to put on some pressure here, but Royal is going to opt for just a quick CC. He only makes one Marine uh, because he knows he can't be under any pressure here at the moment. Kind of a cool little wall from Flash. It doesn't look like a wall here, but I assure you this is 
Um, if not Ling Tite, this is definitely Vulture Tite here on this side. It looks like a pathway through there, but if you can see, like, there's a little bit of a difference here. There's not, like, an obvious line, but you can see the line going here. This is, like, a different tile set that's been, or not a different tile set, a different, like, tile that's been placed there, which is obstructed. So, you can't actually slide by this. Vulture here is going to chase down the SCV. Um, I think I just heard, was that an explosion? Was there something canceled? Oh, my gosh. All right. Something certainly was canceled right there. I'll picture in picture if there was like a proxy canceled or whatever. Um, he goes ahead and starts a vulture here after seeing the vulture of his opponent. Realizing that it's not, I guess, uh, a tank push or anything like that. That's going to be coming his way. Hmm. I'm not too sure why he decided to make that and then cancel. I'm not super familiar with TVT, as you can imagine. But uh, he is going to get a few extra vultures out here and then going right into the armory. Is he going to do a Goliath push? Yeah, he is going to make a bunch of Goliaths right now. Um, Hasn't been spotted just yet. The barracks does see two factories with no add-on which might be a tip off here we need a tank immediately tank and siege mode should be on the menu here for royal if he knows what's coming uh, the goliath push is very strong against just mass uh vulture especially if you go for a wraith after oh my god he's gonna take a third right now whoa 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 royal hello that's interesting. Double machine shop now after the Goliath comes out. And use the two Goliaths to deal a lot of damage to this barracks. And so, throwing down a factory here. Will he throw down another quick factory to try and eke out a little more production here before the barracks goes down? So far, no. But this is pretty wild, guys. This is pretty insane. Going directly into a third CC. And is it going to end up paying off here? It certainly will if Flash doesn't try to put on any pressure right now. We could see Royal get a really big advantage. He's already ahead in workers. Which is doesn't really make sense, honestly. Because we had the... Gas is fast expand here for Flash. I guess he went for the scans, right? The scans. And I think he just scanned top center. Because he's sending a lot of stuff up here right now. I'm not sure about that. But that may be the case. Um, there's only one tank here. If he just runs up and starts throwing down mines, he could have killed that. He does back away though. He scans and he sees it now. So he's going to go ahead and start his own CC. Maybe try to run by here into the natural. That would be a great move. Immediately running into the wall. Gonna go ahead and play some mines though. Can he actually get by this? Oh, he does kill that one tank and he will slip by into the main. Couple of mines here on the high ground, but Vulture's chasing this. We'll be able to clean it up, no problem. Um, How many SCVs can he get here? Two, three, maybe a fourth. He does get a fourth, not bad. Oh, uh, he gets one big hit there on a tank. That was really, really close to a kill. Would have been clutch if he could have picked that off. Uh, no more vultures here, so... This very tentative defense from Royal Light Defense here... Is going to pay off. He holds on to everything, and he holds on to a worker advantage here, but just barely. SCV or a command center starts over here and I think that flash is gonna be able to catch up to this pretty quickly We also lost the barracks. So do we have another one on the way? Yeah He did manage to throw down two more factories before the barracks burned In the bottom right hand corner. So it didn't really slow him down too too much, but he can't add on any more just yet We've also got potentially a drop here with that um, starport. There it is. The dropship gonna start. 
Maybe you can drop some vultures into the main and make up some of this deficit here. Kill off some SCVs and bring himself back in a big way. We have four factories. More are going to be added soon. On the side of Flash and of Royal. But pretty even. Well, look at that. Six SCV advantage here for Royal. And he's ahead in supply. So doing a very good job utilizing that third CC. They had an advantage over light here from the beginning. Moving to take possibly even a fourth CC now, which might be a little over eager. Flash going to send a drop in towards the main base, but as things start to get set up here, Royal is going to have vision over that area and be able to deny that dropship. Let's see if he sees it coming in. Drop heading around the outside right now. But it will be spotted? No, just barely not, I think. I don't think that was spotted here. Just barely missed it. Will he see it here with the SCV? I think not. No, it's going to slip by undetected. Sneaky little move here from Flash to get that in. If he can make the best out of that. Some mines here almost triggering on these. Uh, the Wraith is there to actually deal with the uh, dropship, so that's probably going to get chased down here. Trying his best to deal some more damage to those SCVs, but not getting a whole lot out of that. Wraith going to chase that down. Ooh, a mine connection here really damages these tanks badly. And it seems like... Oh, we've got something somewhere. Okay, there it is. What is attacking right now? Okay, there we go. It's here's something in the background attacking, but I wasn't sure what. Now let's zoom out a little bit because TVT can get pretty big. The scale of TVT can get pretty huge. Um, Vulture's going to slip out this side. We've got a big containment here, a small containment down here. But there is nothing over here aside from just a few mines. And this uh, opening might actually allow... Royal to get in and deal some potential damage. He is almost getting on top of this base, but for now, Flash going to hold on to that area. A dropship of his own coming into the bottom center. Oh man, this is really undefended right now. How much damage will it do? Two vultures here in the third base. Two more going to be landed at the natural. We see already seven, oh, ten probe, ten worker advantage here. That's going to grow dramatically as more kills come down. Actually, not that bad. I was expecting a lot more kills here. But we're at 77. We don't really need any more workers right now. It's just Flash who's building workers at this point. Tanks coming forward and sieging up. We've got plus one. No plus two done yet. Both players on top of that, though. Coming forward and just sniping one tank by one tank here. Looks like he will be able to get that eventually. Ooh, pushing into the center left right now. Quick uh, on pickup here by Royal. Lifting that CC and bailing out. But he is potentially going to deal uh, take over the middle of the map now. Because Flash has committed so much over here to getting rid of this base. We could see a situation. Oh, what the heck is this? SCVs here need to get back to work. Uh, dropship's gonna die. Oh, it gets two vultures out. That's pretty big. Middle of the map at the same time. We'll watch the, the kill count here. See how many vultures, uh, how many kills those vultures get. But the middle of the map is getting taken over by Royal. He's got a significant uh, army advantage right now. 20 army supply in favor of Royal. The position here in the middle is fantastic. If he can get down here, he can cut off this army in the top left from receiving any reinforcements. Vultures down here are doing a great job. But they've only lowered it to 65 workers, which still absolutely fine here for Flash. 65 workers, you can put together a, a fantastic army with that. Especially when you're on this many bases, which... 
He's actually outnumbering the number of bases here for Royal. Plus two is not done yet on either side, but it's going to finish for Flash just slightly earlier. Let's see if he uses that opportunity to try and break out here. Well, he's not really contained yet, but the middle of the map is being held. And we're adding on more turrets now. Um, so it is going to get tough. Tanks over here. Shutting down this lane for Flash while Royal tries to take a bunch of expansions here in the top or in the bottom left. Now, as it stands, more bases go to Flash. If we just stop the game right now, Flash is going to have one extra base, which is this one. However, we might see a Royal mine from this, which doesn't really give you any gas. So it's not as big of a deal, but it is something here. Uh, if this continues, uh oh, wait a minute. I don't think it will continue for long. That's a lot of tanks moving forward. Plus two is done. So it's harder to trade here uh, into these tanks. Plus two is done for Royal as well, but he doesn't have that many just yet uh, over here. There's not a huge amount of tanks to actually stop this from encroaching on his land. Can he actually scan and get some kills here? He's looking for them. Oh, kind of missing shots here. He should be targeting the tank that he was already hitting. Uh, but doesn't really get the greatest connections there. Flash expanding down here in the bottom left. And we could be in for a really long game now. This is getting a little crazy. How many drop ships do we have? Four drop ships heading down here to the bottom left. This is a big move right now by Roll. He's going to take the high ground uh, away from Flash here. Down in the bottom left, and this is a very difficult position to break open. Some vultures gonna swing by here up into the top uh, 12 o'clock position. Try to get some kills here on the SCVs. That's a great harassment tactic here from Flash. He's sliding in between. Oh, two tanks get picked off there. That is rough. Losing those two tanks. He may even lose the rest of them to just these mines and vultures here. Running forward. Vultures are not the greatest against tanks, but in low numbers, they can definitely easily overwhelm. Uh, and the mines being laid too close to the tanks are not going to be stopped. This is going to get taken out as well. That's a great trade. Anytime you can kill tanks with mines is fantastic. But Flash is slowly losing control of this game, due in uh, most part to that uh, drop down to the bottom. That's a great trade, though, for Flash. Picking off a lot of these tanks right now. Mines are now going to trade with the tanks as well. Oh, okay. He does get it. But this drop is huge. It just shut down everything that Flash was trying to do. He's only got three dropships on the map. Where are the drops of Royal? All of them over here. Flash is going to pull SCVs and try to break this. Let's see if he can make it happen. He's dropping on top of all this stuff. Dragging some of the mines into it. But he needs to get in here and actually block this. He needs to stop this uh, top right from being taken. He's going to try to avoid making contact with those tanks over there. But the counter drop is coming now. Royal is probably going to shut this down hard. He has so many Goliaths and tanks in this. They're going to dive right on top of it. And with the SCVs helping to clean, that was a, cl a clear sweep in favor of Royal. A few kills up here in the top right with some of these vultures that ran by during that chaos. But nothing life-changing, nothing game-changing here. Another counter drop comes down over in the center right. A few more tanks are available, but more reinforcements here for Royal and... The supply advantage is now 70 in favor of Royal. Ooh, boy, that is rough. GG is called Flash Taps Out. Royal proving he is an absolute beast in this matchup. And maybe Flash just not quite at his A game here just yet. He's on the come up. He's recently come back to play. And he was struggling in that match, dude. Royal making all the right moves. And it wasn't like uh, Flash was getting stomped out there. But these little moves like this drop over here. The drop into six as well. 
expertly done. Royal getting away with a very fast third command center. Um, peak performance flash probably wouldn't let that happen. I don't know how he would shut that down, but he had some opportunities, right? The run by into the main with the vultures created uh, a big opportunity to maybe dive on top of the tank that was up there and take a position uh, on that high ground because everything got pulled back in towards the main base. I mean, a few other things could have gone a little better for him as well, right? We placed two mines here, two tanks popped out. They both got hit by both the mines, but uh, only one mine uh, truly dealt its damage, which meant that both the tanks survived. A lot of crazy early game shenanigans there, but I'm going to go ahead and check and see if Royal and the, uh, Flash played any more games. If not, we're going to jump into our first game between Russia and Flash. It's coming right up. All right, boys, no luck on finding any more Royal versus Flash replays. Seems like it hasn't happened as of yet, but we're still blessed with some awesome Rush replays here. Look, it's pretty funny. You know, when Flash came back like four or five months ago, I can't remember exactly how long ago it was. It was last year, he did like a little uh, quick romp around in ladder and then he disappeared again. This is the barcode that he was using. He was using a long barcode with a bunch of zeros. And it's hilarious that Rush is playing on a copy of that barcode. Uh, basically the same barcode, but with some, you know, L's and I's mixed in a little differently. And he runs into Flash. <laughs> <laughs> who's playing on a brand new barcode same thing except vv that is really really funny um but yeah <laughs> oh rush here down at the bottom left he is going to open with a barracks out in the front let's see if flash wants to go for a gas as fast expand again it seemed to be his thing he was using all it a lot Maybe he thinks it's strong right now in TVT. And yeah, he, mm, yeah, he's going to go for that. He's got the money for a gas, but he's not taking it. So that's what we're going to see again. Is Rush going to try and punish here? Or will he do something like what Royal did, which is to expand just more aggressively? Taking advantage that way. Let's see what he goes for here. This is uh, Citadel. An interesting map. I would say this is Terran favorite against Protoss. Uh, because of all the... the um, ledges and stuff around this map are very good for tank pushes. But how does it play out in TVT? Are we going to see like a big split map situation here? There's not that many bases around. And not that many gas spaces, especially, so I'm curious. I'm curious to see how this ends up going. We've got uh, no bunker just yet, but that should be thrown down soon. He sees the factory and only one SCV mining gas, so he knows exactly what's coming here. Nothing under the ordinary as of yet, although we did build two Marines and we're pushing forward here. Two Marines on the side is Flash as well, so... A third Marine going to join. You're not going to break this. Um, but Rush going to come in and poke anyway. Let's see how this goes. The interactions between Marines and SCVs is always a little bit funny. But looks like uh, Flash handles that perfectly. Ooh, bit of a mistake. Looks like he clicked the Marines to head back home just a little bit too early. And ends up... Uh, being in kind of a rough spot here, the machine shop is being added. So Flash going to get in there. He sees the machine shop. He knows. Oh, you don't have any vulture coming here. You're being really greedy right now. So could come in here and maybe snipe this SCV, but this will cost all of the Marines. Okay, turns around, heads back home. Will he make it home though? A long walk all the way back here to the bunker. Uh, he might be able to make that walk, but definitely Rush is going to be heading out ASAP. 
Yeah, it looks like they will make it back home. Nice job. Flash putting on a little bit of pressure there. He decides not to go all the way to delay the CC, and he's just going to let that uh, go by here, that opportunity go by, and be happy with the advantage that he's accrued thus far. A little bit of a wall behind this bunker. It's nice just to make sure that, you know, with Vulture speed coming, um, maybe he's planning to do some sort of run by, but it's not going to be very possible if we've got a nice wall in back here. It's not perfect yet. Would have been a little bit better if he had put the uh, Supply Depot over just one hex. But he's going to keep an SCV there just to make sure that this can't run by. Okay, going for it. See if he can block this. Ooh, great block right there. Really great block. He loses a couple of SCVs so far. But a tank is about to pop out, and there's only one Vulture in here. It does get the full scout, which is amazing. Um, might even get another SCV here. Oh, targeting it. Does get one shot on that, but Vulture going to rotate around here. One more kill, maybe. Just a quick pullback from Flash is going to keep that alive. Oh, he gets one more SCV. All right. Reasonable. I mean, it's okay. Oh, another run by here. Now, this is going to start to, to be big, right? Okay, he sets up the commsat. That's like three, four, maybe, SCV so far. Five. Okay, well, that was significant. That was some very good damage there from Rush. And we've only... I mean, we've got like a 10 SCV advantage at this point. That is really, really good, considering uh, the build orders here uh, from both of our players being a... Gasless CC here from Flash and You know the the regular more the more normally timed CC here from Rush doesn't take that uh, Mine hit if that mine had connected he actually would have just straight up died the the mine would have killed all the Marines and the uh, Tank would have likely died as well two more mines here. Oh he does get hit by that. That's bad. He can run out and take this out now. A um, bit of a f misstep here from Flash because uh, had he not taken that mine, he would have been pretty good here. Ooh, he's going to lose the Wraith as well. This is not looking good for Flash right now. Rush is doing this pretty perfectly. Really handling all the aggression here right now from Flash and even has the Goliath out in time to deal with these Wraiths that have come in. Only one Wraith now. Uh, on the field here for Flash. Will he continue to produce them? No. Gonna go into a control tower, add on a couple more factories, but his factory count is behind. I think we just had a scan um, somewhere. Not really sure exactly where. Pretty hard to keep track of all the scans when there's two Terran players involved, especially a player the caliber of Flash who's often scanning his opponent and just checking out what's going on. Do we have plus one on the way? No, but we have that uh, armory, so we can get that started here pretty quickly. Flying in one more time just to see what uh, he can see with that Wraith. It is very low now, though, so he's going to pull it back. Drop ship now on the way. No third base here just yet for either player, but it's got to be in the mine tier. Nice setup with the tanks on this little ridge line very hard to push into a position like that but rush is going to start to move out Ooh, losing a vulture there for free gonna start to push out maybe set up over on this side if you can contain flash here and here then flash will be stuck on three bases and it's very easy to set up tanks here to deny this third so this might be something that rush wants to do right if he sets up here or along here and here, that's what I think the plan is. We can really get stuck in this area here. Let's see what he goes for. Three vultures dropping into the main. Now we have a Goliath over here. But it's not going to be able to take out the vultures or the dropship too quickly. Three is the correct number to one-shot SCVs. But as soon as one of them goes down, the uh, damage doesn't really add up as quickly and yeah he only gets like three scvs i guess maybe so still a full 11 worker advantage here for rush rush 
far and away in the lead right now. Adding on a third CC. How is he going to set up this containment? Because I almost guarantee we're going to see this here. It's just too powerful. Um, from the way that the map looks. The, the geography of the map here. Setting up right there. It's... Oh. It's so good. It's just... Oh. The fact that you can put a... A, a tank like right along here and you can almost hit this cc i think you can hit the cc or maybe it's from this angle you can definitely hit the cc from here i'm not sure can you hit the cc from right there it's got to be close but you can definitely hit the entrance to the to the base from there double drop into the main now flash gonna lotto ship it let's see if he can get in there and deal a bunch of damage flip this game on its head he's actually chasing down some of the vultures here in the middle of the map and rush is taking more of a defensive approach setting up on his side of the map and not being aggressive here might end up you know, paying off for flash I'm giving flash an advantage here oh man the tanks are getting wrecked right now wow tanks go down really fast there and a lot of SUVs are going to be lost this is a big drop from flash the double uh, drop here actually paying huge dividends right now this investment is going to the moon here for flash another tank gets picked off the addition of the wraith is just such a sick little addition here and although it hasn't you know given him the scv advantage yet it's giving him a lot of opportunities on the map and he's going to take advantage of those opportunities right here right now to dive on top of this premature tank line here none of the mines are going to connect just now but he takes a big position in front of rush's main and the same thing applies man if you set up a big containment here or even better here then your opponent just cannot move out he's just going to take this ridge line um that is it such a sick place here to to just kind of hang out Vultures are going to run in right now and start to kill a bunch of SCVs here at the third base. Oh my. Oh my god. Okay. Three rates were made. I'm not sure exactly when those were made, but that is actually going to help Rush a lot to clear this out. That is going to mean that he clears this. And he will get his third base back up and mining, but look at how many SCVs were killed. He's still ahead. But he's no longer like 10, 15 workers ahead. He's now just three workers ahead, and maybe this dropship can change that as well. More scans going off everywhere. The army is actually moving down here to clear these vultures at the six o'clock, and Flash using that as a distraction as the drop comes into the main. He doesn't have any Goliaths with this, so the wraiths are going to be the perfect counter. You just pull the SCVs and kill everything with the wraiths. He's even going to lose the dropship. So this is a actually a bad move for Flash. Um, I think coming in and trying to clear with tanks is maybe not the right call from Rush. You, you could easily just clear this with Wraiths, but he will clear it out nonetheless. And sending the Wraiths out now to look for the more harassment opportunities. He's headed over to the center left. Uh-oh. Wraiths are going to end up going down here. That's not good. Back at home, do we have any more Wraiths? No. Just focusing on Goliath tank now is Flash. Um, and setting up his third base finally. Only five workers behind now is Flash. So he's managed to make this a scrappy enough game to where he can push back on the advantage that was earned by uh, Rush a little bit earlier on. Taking a quick drink here. We're sipping. Enjoying these flash games if you are as well Make sure to leave a like on the video Let me know what you want to see next um, Flash versus Terran flash versus Zerg or are you tired of flash games already? I know the internet is fickle But I thought this would be uh, fun even though I'm not a Terran player A few vultures gonna slide in here Right back to mining with four SCVs this time. Doubling up there. Making sure he's got enough gas coming in. Rush. 
can afford to do so, but look at that. We've got even workers now. So this game will go on for potentially a long time here with Rush in a, just, a, just a tiny little advantage here right now in terms of his uh, positioning on the map. He's got a little bit more of the map here if we're splitting it crossways. Another drop here in the center left is actually going to kill a few workers and slow down some of the mining, but gas will continue to mine. No problem here. Time to add on a few turrets at this base because inevitably we're going to see drop after drop into this location. Um, wraiths over here at the natural looking for something, but they're not sure what. I'm gonna find some SCVs over here at the center left now. And actually, the army's moved around the side. Oh my goodness, this gambit here from Rush. He's gonna set up on the high ground of Flash, but oh man, that was a big volley right there. He killed a lot of tanks. But is this too ambitious here for Rush? I think so. Everything gets cleared super quick here. We need a Goliath. Okay, he does get both of those rates and. Yeah, that ambitious play from Rush ends up not paying off for him. Plus one is uh, here, but plus two is not quite done yet. There's still a lot of movement that can happen um, until those upgrades are done. But Flash has a good defensive position here. Let's see. I, yeah, I really don't think you can hit this. Just barely can't. Just barely out of range there. Maybe if you, like, pixel perfect right there, you can hit that. Or maybe at least a comp set anyway. But Flash taking a much better spot here now. Ooh, eating a mine, though. Sounds like we've got something going on. I'm not sure exactly what that was. Maybe this dropship getting hit. Um, setting up a really nice contain now. He's got this spot here. Uh, in order to keep... Rush down in that bottom corner. He wants him in that bottom left. He doesn't want him to move while he takes more of the map. Vulture over at the 12 o'clock. Going to be preventing more bases from coming down. Oh, dropship going to go down. That is unfortunate. Setting up here as close as he can. Can he hit the command center with a scan? Not quite able to hit that just yet. Still no plus two, so it takes three shots to kill a tank. He can hit the commsat. Which is something. Vultures clean, clear out. 12 o'clock. Push forward here from Rush. He's going to try and break out right now. But mines could be devastating. Okay. Drawing some uh, tank fire here. More mines going to get laid out in the front. Looks like Rush will break out of here. A lot of those tanks were low. And there are a few kind of committed over here on the right hand side. Which weren't part of that fight. Whereas Rush was able to bring his entire army together to fight this. Exactly. Dead even on the supply just a moment ago. A 133 to 133. It's a very close game. But these extra tanks are going to get wiped out here on the right hand side. Meanwhile, a drop into the main down at bottom left. Uh, three tanks, two vultures. An interesting composition here for a drop. Still no plus two just yet. And both players. Oh, wait. Plus two here. Plus two on Rush. Wait a minute. We don't have plus two for Flash. He actually doesn't have a science facility, I think. I don't see one anyway. No plus two, and Rush's plus two just finished. So was this a gambit by Flash? Thinking that he would just be able to win this game, or at least get himself into like an unbreakable position, or an unbeatable position here before this point, and didn't even bother to get plus two. That is crazy if that's the case. Because definitely Rush is going to survive and take this into a long game. And Flash just does not have the all-important tech that he needs, which is those upgrades. This is TVT after all. The upgrades are that tech. Pushing over here towards the third base. He's on top of the mineral only. A good position here for Flash, but two tanks in the rally point are brought up and are going to help out a lot in dealing with this attack. More tanks coming up to the ridge. But a lot of vultures are here to start to lay down mines and get those connections. A D matrix over here as well, doing a great job pushing everything back. Flash is falling apart right now. 
a full 30 supply disadvantage and gg is called yeah he just doesn't have the late game what an interesting decision there by flash to just constantly drop the main and try to take positions without preparing for the late game maybe he's not prepared or not ready to take on someone like rush in that late game he figures i just need to win or get an unbeatable position before plus two comes in uh, on these tanks or i'm just gonna quit i'm gonna tap out that is not the flash that i remember but this is flash in his returning to ladder state not quite up to snuff just yet he uh, loses game number one here to rush let's see if he can do a little bit better in game number two game number two here with flash over in the top right hand corner rush in the bottom right that was a pretty interesting game there i am not sure if flash is uh ready to show us his final form here not ready to go into those late game situations um not feeling confident maybe just as he's coming back here but man is he climbing like crazy right now it's pretty wild to see he's at 2738 right now and that puts him as number one on ladder yeah nobody else nobody else is that high no other non drop hacker i'm just checking the ladder right now yeah drop hacker drop hacker um drop hacker drop hacker yeah he is number one on ladder how insane is that this man i mean he's not even fully warmed up yet he's not even in his final form he's already number one on ladder it is just wild and yeah nobody's like leaving his games man these are all hard fought wins and he is just rocketing to the top of the charts pretty crazy to see man pretty crazy indeed but not at all unexpected this is this is what we expect from flash uh, at this point he is just such a beast gonna start out finally with not a gasless fast expand it looks like instead going to be putting that forward barracks and going into a factory for himself exactly the same builds here on either side absolutely mirrored builds right now 15 to 15 i mean almost even the money is the same right now how crazy is that well look at this all right one marine i thought he actually built no marines which would have been actually insane one marine here for rush two three marines gonna be made for flash this can actually get out of control this could get bad for rush if he's got his barracks floating and only one marine uh and three show up here you can actually start to lose quite a few scvs you can start to be in a pretty bad spot he actually sends one of the marines back home uh and a vulture is on the way so probably we'll just see this command center slow down a bit i think that's all we'll end up getting uh, for our trouble here now he sends the marines back home so he's actually not even gonna get that he's gonna keep his marines alive though if he sends the marines all the way across the map then they're definitely gonna die so he will keep them alive and goes instead for a very quick machine shop machine shop immediately here machine shop after vulture for rush what a much faster cc three marines not really doing too much right now just kind of hanging out here at the front vulture's gonna make its way up here but gotta be very careful if you get the moving shot with the vulture they're really similar to mutas where you can just chase the opponent all the way across the map continuously firing it's very hard to break that moving shot uh to get them to stop and you may end up losing one of your very first key units uh, for almost no damage so luckily for him he does pull that back in time and 
Flash not ready for that moving shot to commence, so he will not be able to get that kill. SCV is getting transferred just a little bit ahead of time. Rush has just got just the tiniest little edge right now. Just a smidge. Are we going to get a... Okay, just a supply depot. No third factory and no starport either. Just pure vulture production here. But third factory is on the way for Flash. So he will end up having a vulture advantage here pretty soon. I'm using the three marines to push away this barracks. Not going to allow that to easily scout the entirety of the main here. Taking a lot of extra damage on this actually. 400 HP left on that. And this uh, barracks is just going to have a field day here. Flying all through the main. to see everything while only one marine's attacking it. Vultures here unmasked, heading out on the map, but there's only two, just the two factories. So eventually we're going to see Flash win this Vulture War. He will get ahead. Speed is going to finish up soon. Speed is already done for Flash. And he can't really see anything. He can't see the number of Vultures here. So looks like Rush is heading around the map, laying down mines everywhere, but he's going to get overwhelmed. This could be a really fast game, guys. Rush has no idea that there's just going to be a massive vulture count heading across the map here shortly. And he might get completely trounced here um, while sitting back in kind of a defensive position with mines everywhere. They certainly don't help out much against vultures. Tank is on the way. This is, the, this is kind of the moment here for Flash. If he wants to push the advantage that he's gained by having this extra factory the time is now we got to go across the map kill all the vultures fight the tank kill the tank start to kill SEVs um before rush gets too many tanks out because once he's got like two three tanks then even if the vultures are less in number you're not going to be able to win that fight vultures uh won't be able to trade well enough with the tanks he adds on a tank of his own and he's finally going to start to come across the map here. That's a lot of vultures. But the Sim City here is pretty good. Or not the Sim City. The positioning of the army is pretty good. The tank in the front is going to eat a lot of vulture shots. And it's going to be hard to get in range to actually gun down a vulture specifically. So, interesting play here. Oh, the run by into the main. This is like a ZVZ right now. Really. Rush playing this out like a ZVZ. Having a just a couple of vultures on the side, waiting for the moment, the opportunity here as Flash moves out on the map, just run those by and get a bunch of kills. It's like two lings running by into the main. Uh, when the lings of your opponent move out, pretty good thinking here by Rush. And he gets a decent advantage. He's actually 10 workers ahead. How many times have we seen this today, guys? The small moves from both Royal and Rush to give them massive advantages in the early game that may be insurmountable for Flash to overcome. He still does a great job of fighting in each of these games, but maybe just these early game advantages are hurting him enough to where, uh, even with some good moves, uh, Rush or Royal not going to be toppled. Pretty good positioning here. On that high ground with a good number of tanks. And this is the tank count I was talking about. We've got four tanks here now. You can't just run into this with vultures and hope to win. You need something more. Time for that transition. A third CC going to start right away here. But 13 SCVs in favor of a Rush right now. Probably a bit of a... Vulture advantage, but Don't let that fool you Rush is in a good spot right now These vultures are not gonna scale well into the mid and late game tanks moving over here to the top side of this third base Tanks of rush siege up first and rush gets a nice volley on a bunch of these vultures before we even have the 
tanks and vultures of flash fire a single shot so this is going really well for rush so far the only thing in favor of flash right now is this base which is not that well defended honestly we're a little bit slow to getting over here to defend um just a group of vultures could head over to that center left and deal a lot of damage she's gonna slide in here with some vultures this is a great move by flash she's gonna get a lot of damage here however his center left is completely exposed right now this is a great position here for flash targeting down the tanks right now laying some mines as well the SCVs are gonna get cut off though tanks finally coming down to defend as flash pushes back he's gonna be able to deny this base from ever being mined at least but funny that he's unseaging right now i think that position is great just uh setting up in more of a line i suppose getting prepared for his opponent to try and push back Ooh, great shot there with the tank to clear one of the mines as soon as both the uh tank siege up though he's gonna run forward and try to lay mines on this nice target there to kill the mine and he will eventually hold this getting scvs back over here is great rush is feeling the pressure right now what can he do to bring this one back and he's still got a good worker lead but he can't mine off of three bases and with less workers you're still going to be mining better you're going to be mining more if you have those extra patches uh, at this point with this many workers on just a normal two base economy um it's it's not great you're not going to be mining that much more than you know someone with 40 scvs on these two bases it takes about 20 to mine more or less efficiently and each additional scv is just going to add slightly more just a just a titch more to your overall income now this drop could be kind of big let's see what kind of damage it can do on siege here a little bit of a funny timing to unseage, but oh the mine connection actually taking out a tank that's uh some lucky hits from rush but meanwhile his army pushing through the middle of the map is going to get these two tanks here on high ground as soon as they get taken out flash is going to be in kind of a weird position where a lot of his army is actually across the map doing other things dealing with this or stopping this and a wraith is killing this okay rush is godlike right now he's gonna have that wraith clear out all of these tanks this tank right here super low on that hp wait one marine can it do it can it do the job oh it dies 18 hp left on that one of the weakest battles you've ever seen in your life one wraith coming out that will save the tanks but oh wait no it won't he's got two wraiths now which is gonna shut that down and rush is in a position where you never want your opponent to to be sitting in oh that mine Ooh, very nice mine connection there more vultures gonna come into the main oh he landed the barracks and started making marines that's hilarious drop here into the main gonna deal a lot of damage meanwhile attack at the front just watch the uh, worker count here fall as a a bunch of SCVs get killed off in that main base. However, these tanks could go down. Nice target on that mine. That was an essential mine target there that Flash just did. Picking that off before it could connect on some of his tanks. But, dude, he is having a really rough time right now. He can't push in. And he's got a whole bunch of tanks sitting way back here that are not really doing anything. Meanwhile, the Vulture's just massacring SCVs. And really shutting down oh this this is amazing the tanks sitting here they're gonna be able to hit the cc hitting the cc right now and he's even gonna use the barracks over on this side uh to scout for that one base mining at this point for flash because he has to lift off lift off the cc he's only mining in the natural now his army over there uh at the top right has been pulled oh my god i just caught the tail end of that all the tanks go down that is super super rough this cc is gonna have to float and flash he's gonna start to set up in the middle of the map but we can see a 30 40 supply advantage here for rush as he's just cranking out units with his fresh base here 
his fresh third he should be able to get up in here as well to get another cc going oh this is still not cleaned up that's five kills on this uh vulture crazy amounts of damage for just a couple of vultures into the main base tanks run forward here and they get massacred we will finally clear that out but in comes the follow-up this army has just moved around these tanks in the middle of the map completely ignoring them and we'll get over here to the natural to reset up this high ground containment area gg is called flash taps out again getting taken down by both rush and royal in this series you can see he's just not quite up to snuff yet getting kind of manhandled by these players who have been endlessly practicing and endlessly grinding out games here you can see both rush and roll just a step ahead in every one of these games so far but guys i hope you enjoyed this tvt i've still got in my back pocket a full series of flash versus sock and flash versus jyj so let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see some uh, commentary on those videos until then you guys have an awesome day i'll see you tomorrow for the cast of the kcm